Aaron, how much did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was good. It was uh, obviously the mood deflated a bit when we went two two, but went and one four two, and the crowd, the crowd, we we needed it. Like it was, it was a good performance as well as a show to put on. You're starting to put together a nice little catalogue of uh, a special goals. Um, how did that one compare, say, to the Oxford one? Do you think the first one today? Yeah, I think the Oxford one was up there, but that nah, today, like everyone said to me, I am really. I can't actually remember the goal. I just remember releasing it and knowing it was going in. Um, obviously, it was a good goal again. It was outside the box. Um, <laughs> I'm getting known to score from outside the box, but and that's what I need to bring into my game is them little tap-ins and stuff and being a number nine as well as scoring them little simple goals, and I know that will benefit me massively more. Was it nice, therefore, to have the chance to tuck away that one-on-one at the end? Yeah, it was. Yeah, like um, Luke Thomas has done very well, and I'm screaming, I'm screaming for it in there. And like, say, his, his confidence, like, it's come to me. I've taken the touch and I've passed him the corner. And I think a couple of weeks ago, I might have took that first time or rushed it. But like, you get a couple of goals now, and it's a bit of confidence in for me. Yeah, it's a it's a great turnaround the last few weeks. What it's done in terms of your game. Were there ever moments where you felt down and thought it's really affecting my game? No, that'll never be me. I've always been confident, and even when, like I said, my back's against the wall, I still, I still be there, smiling, confident, and it's proved I can make the right side of it. And hopefully, like I say, we've got plenty more games, plenty more of the season to come, and hopefully, I'll carry this on. I asked the manager, you know, what sort of a forward are you? Who would you model your game at at the top of the at the top of the sport? Who would that be? Do you think? Who are you most like? Who do you who do you compare your game to? I couldn't give you an answer on that, to be honest with you. Um, like, there's plenty of players I watch. Like, I love Salah at the moment. and I'm a Liverpool fan. Obviously, I just watch him. And the main thing he does is when he gets the ball, he drives at the goal. Drives at the goal and he puts defenders, turns, turns them around. And so I wouldn't say, obviously, it's tough. You could say that. I can't compare myself to Salah. He's, ne- he's next level. But, yeah, like I'd, I watch Salah a lot. And he's, I, I like what he does as well as I try to maybe take a bit of what he does into my game. Because player, I guess for you, it's about if you don't score, the minimum that you will have offered is to to chase everything down. To do you, see, you have a level, don't you? Yeah. But a goal, you know, a striker will always be, yeah, judged on the goals they exactly. score as well, won't they? Yeah. Um, do you do you think it was just that Oxford goal that turned the corner for you? I think so. It's obviously I needed that first goal. Um, just to like you, you as you said, you always get judged on your goals if anywhere in a front three you always get judged on goals as a number 10 as well and like I said it, it took a while to get our first goal but now I'm on a little streak and hopefully for it, this carries on but yeah it's, I'll always work my socks off I'll always I'll always put in the work for my team because at the end of the day we're a team and like we win together we lose together you know and even if I even if I score two and we, we lose we lose like I lose per, like personally we're a team um, but yeah, like I said, I'll always work my socks off as well as you do get judged on your goals and assists and they're starting to come now. Yeah. And I think you got 11 last year for Forest Green Rovers. Yeah. You're on five and you're approaching the halfway point of the season. But I guess the, the form you're in now, you feel you feel pretty confident that you might be able to top all that. Yeah, I'm looking to go into the Christmas period like full full confidence. Like, like I said, they got five now so like you could say I'm halfway there from last season but it's it's all about carrying it on it's all about like I said mainly going to get the wins and putting that in like getting ourselves back up in the league but as well individually like I said I know my goals are going to help the team. Is there anyone externally that you spoke to when it wasn't quite working any extra work you did or, or maybe you, you spoke to your brother or who, who did you turn to really? I've 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 looked at myself like it's like I said I'm I'm always confident I go into the game I never I never think I'm not going to score, um like Mangs has always been there Mangs has texted me on texted me and when I scored that first goal even on the Tuesday when I scored I had a text from him like he he stuck by me and he knows that I'm capable of doing it and it just didn't it didn't fall right at the start but like me and Mangs will stay out after training I'll be like Mangs let's do some shooting just to just to keep it in the back of the net and then I, we both knew at one point it was going to come. And and the result today, I mean, you had to dig deep. There are a few speed bumps in the road, you know, losing Connor at half time. Yeah. Uh, what was the sort of collective effort there to to try and drag that one around? How did you manage that? It's frustrating. Like we we went in half time, obviously one nil up. I thought we were a much better team first half, and then we come out, and obviously I got a second goal, and 
it's a it's a platform. You think, right, we're two 0 up now. I know it looks like it happened against Tramia and we went back and we need to cut this out of our game because it's gonna come back and bite us on the ass. Um sorry, I don't know if we say that. But <laughs> it's gonna come back it's gonna come back and bite us, but we need to we need to like I say carry we need to when we're when we're ahead, we need to we need to stay ahead. We can't be affording to go to two two and then like I said today we we come out of it and we w- we went on and won four two but yeah, Connor was a big miss. Obviously, in the first half, he's winning every header. He's he's a quality player and he's done really well since he's come in. And he obviously had to go off. He's been he's been struggling a little bit. It's just his calf. Um, but like I said, first half he put in an absolute shift. Pablo come on at half time, but like obviously it was a little mistake from Pablo. But he done he done his job. And at the end of the day, we went and won. So we won as a team. So. And who gets the uh, the bottle of fizz? <laughs> yeah, that was me. So first time M O M. So yeah, nah, happy for that.